Hey there YouTube, this is Jared from Omnivore Blade Works and you're looking at the batch that I've been working on which is huge for heat treat. I've got a lot of stuff. Something new that's kind of neat is the Kodiak, lightweight Kodiak. This was a sawback model. Um, and I cut the saw teeth off so that reduced it by a little bit of weight and um, with the handle on it I think it's going to balance just right in front of the hilt so it's going to be a really quick gigantic bowie knife we have regular ones oh actually these are um, these were saw backs also and I cut them off too so they're a little lighter then the standard Kodiak, which is over here, I got a stack, big, big stack of those. I think there's 20 like that, and then five of the light ones, and then three of the ones with guards. And they'll have a permanently mounted handle, and they'll have like um, blasted and blued steel on all the flats and on the guard, and then the um, blade. Uh, chamfers will be satin finished so it'll be a really neat looking um, sword so I've got three with hilt and pommel welded on one of those is spoken for and I've got five that are lightweight and I've got 20 that are regular and most of those are already spoken for really then I got this camp axe which is spoken for um, and I've got a couple of just standard 3B's and then I did all these uh, which is the new um, well this is like 3B Spartan or 3B Ultralight so the difference would be on a Spartan there would be no underhook or under spike edges you just have axe edge and a mohawk edge but since they're quicker to make, I decided to go ahead and do this whole batch, I think of 10 or maybe 11 with all ultralight geometry so that I've, I do have underhook and underspike edges. And then I also have three regular Anubis, one front spike Anubis, and then I think I have five ETAs, two of which are regular ETA with the underhook edge and then three are no excuse me three just have the underhook edge and two are the ETA Scout which is the Anubis style head with underhooks and under spike edges then I have I think ten K9 um, pommel jackals And I have two Americanus buoys with welded steel pommels. One of those is spoken for for sure. Three Americanus standards. Camp hatchet with underhook. That's spoken for. And then a stack of, I don't know, 10 or 11 regular jackals. So they're going to go off to heat treat today. I'm going to get them all into boxes. And I'm going to haul them down to High Point, American Metal Treating. And hopefully they'll come back straight enough so that I can get them perfectly true. And, um, and then I'll get them Cerakoted and sharpened up. And, and we'll, uh, well then we'll have a lot of goodies that will be about ready to ship out. So March 6, 2014. This is Jared with Omnivore Blade Works. And um, we look forward to testing out some of these things when they get back from heat treat. See you next time.